I'm interviewing my great-great-uncle Jack. I'm in Wimbledon, London, on the 18th of February. So my first question is, when the war started, how old were you? I was 21. Okay. And what were you doing? Uh, I was a newspaper reporter. How long did it take you to join the army, and did you volunteer? Yes, I did volunteer, and um, I joined up on the 10th of September 1939, which was just a week after the war started. When you joined, what was the first thing you did? Well, I can't quite remember. I think one of the first things I did was to get my hair cut. OK. But uh, I'll <laughs> tell you something funny about that. On my first parade, yeah. with my very short hair, the sergeant major came round and looked at me and he barked out, Get that man's hair cut! <laughs> and you just had your hair cut? Yes, I thought it was short, you see. Only that wasn't short by army standards. <laughs> Wars are a bad thing, so why was this different? Uh, yes, I suppose you have to say war is a bad thing in a way because people kill each other. Yeah. But I think this war was a just war because the enemy, the Nazis, were so evil that, that anything you could do was to get rid of them. My next question is, what was your job in the army? Well, it, um, it changed as the war went on. But uh, my job started getting important uh, after I was in the, in, in, the, in the desert and then in Sicily. But then when we came to Normandy and to Europe, then I, my job was called an FOO, which was a forward observation officer. And mm -hmm. I lived with the infantry and uh, I was a gunner. And so my job was, when the enemy held us up, it was my job to bring the guns to bear on them and get rid of them. Yes, what did they feed you during the, when you were in the army? Well, that varied again as well. When I first joined up, the barracks in Dover, yeah. we had huge meals, plenty of food, much more than civilians. But when I was in the desert, we didn't have anything much. We had just hard tack biscuits and tins of bully beef and two mugs of tea a day and some vitamin C tablets. Hmm. They must have sent you to interesting places. What was the most interesting? Well, I suppose looking back, probably Cairo was the best. Okay. Because I had a rather nice lady friend in Cairo. We used to go to nightclubs and things. That was while I was waiting to go to the desert. Did you get injured? And if yes, how? Yes, I was wounded on Friday the 13th of February. Well, that explains that. 1944. <laughs> and I got wounded in the leg with shell fire. My next question is, did you miss your family and were you worried about them? Uh, well, yes, I did miss them. I was worried because, of course, at times it was more dangerous being in London when they had the various bombs and things. It was a bit more dangerous than times in the army when we didn't have much to do. Hmm. Did it bother you that you might have to kill someone? No, it didn't bother me. OK. That was my job. Do you think that being Jewish made a difference to your war experience? No, I don't think it did, really, because, uh, you know, my... Uh, what you might call my Jewish involvement had not become very, very close at that point. I didn't know much about my background. So, I, I, I mean, I was aware of it, but... Um, I don't think it made any real difference to my daily life, no. OK. And then my uh, final question is, did you win any medals? Yes, I, I got the military cross 
Mm-hmm. And of course, I've got about five or six campaign medals as well. <laughs>